Hi folks and welcome to the tutorial. Today we're going to create some objects that are looking kind of fractal-like and we're going to create it in Cinema 4D without any third-party plugins of course and uh, i just show you some examples like this, this, this. So let's jump right in and we're going to create one from scratch. So this is my basic scene here. I'm going to delete my object. And we're going to start with a platonic object. It's pretty small here. You can see it actually because my camera is too far away. So let's get out of my camera. Zoom on in. And that's my platonic here. Just a basic platonic object, nothing special. Going to pull it down and we're going to use the MoGraph Mo Extruder. Mo Extrude. Mo Extrude. We're going to apply it to our platonic. And this is going to extrude the surface, the, the polygon surfaces of our platonic. We're going to modify it a bit. Um, we bring down over here. We're going to bring down the. Uh, oh, sorry, the object extrusion steps to one. Going to the transformation tab. Set all all of the size parameters to one and then we're going to extrude it to about 3200 centimeters so my object is looking like this so now we're going to apply quite a bunch of uh, more extruders to our object and we're just going to uh, control control click the more extrude and drag it down so we have a duplicate on that and that's of course it's looking interesting as well but just going to bisect our value here to 1600 like this we do it once again bisect it to 800 one more 400 Uh, 200 and then 100 and as you can see the machine is getting slower and slower is more uh, geometry is added by this just keep that in mind if you're working with that technique so we are going to apply one more mo extrude and we give it the value of 50 and this is going to be our last one for this. It's going to take a while and if you know we're going to switch your camera view. Maybe pull back the camera a bit. Give it some material. And then we're just going to render that view. And voila, this is your first fractal built with uh, more extrude and uh, easy at this you can change the whole shape of it by just let's deactivate a few of them for a moment and let's go to the platonic object and choose like the hexa and activate the other ones again and give it a render so in here you have a complete new fractal looking uh, thing. So this is what I did in my examples. I just um, played around with some of the objects and did a render. So folks, that's it for now and hope you have fun with it. Um, maybe you can drop me a line and show me what you did with it. And I'm pretty interested in what you can do with, with that. And uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.